Hi, this is Frank Rohr, President and Chief Scientist at Delta Waterfowl. I wanted to provide an update on habitat conditions in the vital prairie pothole region. I admit I'm not reporting on information from any large-scale systematic survey. That information will have to wait until July when the enormous air and ground survey of ducks and ponds has been completed. However, Delta has research projects going in several parts of the PPR, from North Dakota to Manitoba and even out into Alberta. So we've seen conditions in many areas. And the North Dakota Game and Fish has just released their annual duck survey. Now the bad news is that large areas of the prairie pothole region just didn't get much snow this winter, and the dry conditions lasted well in the spring. So large areas of South Dakota and North Dakota are far more dry than I've seen them in many years. And the small vital wetlands, the seasonals and temporaries, were especially hard hit. So many or most of these small prairie wetlands were low or bone dry when the ducks settled in May. The good news is that duck numbers have been high for many years, and those good numbers appeared to carry through for this spring. So while the pond counts are low, we seem to be seeing a lot of ducks. In the parklands of Manitoba and Saskatchewan, water conditions are typically far more stable than in the prairie wet and in the prairies. But even there, small ponds started the breeding season in pretty poor condition. Now these impressions, based on the travel and research work that we've been doing, have been confirmed by the North Dakota Department of Game and Fish standardized survey of ducks. In that survey, the wetland index was way down, with ponds 50% below last year, close to half of the, of the long-term average. So pond numbers were down by half of the long-term average, and were the second lowest in 25 years. Surprisingly, the duck numbers are pretty good. Overall ducks were only 5% below last year's survey, and the total numbers are 45% above the long-term average for the state of North Dakota. Better yet, all the common ducks except pintails are, are well above their long-term averages. Pintails, more than any other dabbler, are really tied to those seasonal and temporary ponds. So in a dry spring like this one, many pintails appear to overfly the prairies and go to arctic areas. Another bit of good news is that we've seen a fair amount of rain recently. So many ponds in North Dakota and Manitoba, and even out in Alberta, have seen water levels increase as a result of these spring rains. That could help with a stronger renesting effort and better brood survival than we might have expected. In a few weeks, I hope to be back with another update, this one based on the masses survey of, of all the northern breeding areas. But until then, think positively. The duck numbers look pretty good, and the ducks are making a strong nesting effort.